Morning. All right. Ooh, more people logging on. I like it. How's everybody doing today? So far, so good. Sounds like it. Jason, yeah. I wish I have coffee's at over there, you know, early in the morning. I don't know. I I, I do things to like judge the support for it because it, you know, there's costs associated, right? So we have coffee here on Saturday mornings, and this is the group that drinks it, and then nobody else. But I mean, during the week, it used to be right. I could walk, I could swim, yeah. And then so what we kind of do is we put it out now and see how many people support that. And then if it's worth in that regard, then we'll add more days and stuff like that. So we, we use Saturday morning as kind of the way to conjunct the support, which then helps us, you know, justify doing it on more days. So, um, but, uh, so possibly, but mostly on Saturday, it's just the 12 or 15 of us that are here. So. Huh? And Vibram at home. And Vibram at home, yeah. They're drinking their own coffee. All right, so. All right, no more coffee. I think I'm good for right now. Okay. Uh, welcome online. We got a few people online, a few people on site today, which is really great. We had a crazy week. So we started off with Chinese New Year, which we had about 45 members uh, attend, which was really great. Uh, really well decorated, great pass apps. We did, you know, yeah, you came, right? Yeah, the food was wonderful, decorations were appropriate. It was really cute. And uh, Chinese New Year, you know, something we, we did one time in the past, so it was good to bring it back um, and, and offer that everyone. It was great because some members were like, what are we supposed to do? And I don't know anybody. Yet. And it's like, and what do you wear? Yeah, and it's but it's a member mixer, so the idea was to kind of, you know, get to know new people and you socialize. And that's what ended up happening, as you can tell here. Everyone really intermingled very well, uh, which is really great to see because there was a bunch of members that attended that we haven't seen very often. So I was really excited to see that. You're going to see um, in March we have more of those member mixer styles, which are no entertainment more built for a social time, a social hour. So we've got a few of those I'll talk about today. But anyways, we start off with Chinese New Year. Then Wednesday, we had uh, uh, MTL Magazine release party, which we had uh, 50 show up for that. We then had Happier Hour that night, uh, Summit Tier Live that night, and a crazy busy dinner. So we had about 120 for dinner that night, which is pretty much max capacity. And so it was a really good Wednesday. And then we went into Thursday. We had um, wine tasting where we had <laughs> 60 members for wine tasting, which was really good. And then we had uh, uh, everyone came over for dinner afterwards. And then Friday, last night, super crazy. We did prime rib buffet last night, which we have not done ever here at this club. Uh, we don't really have the equipment to do it. So that's why we it's tough for us to do it's challenging, but we know things have been a little slow in January. Everyone's got their own reasons for staying home. So we kind of jump started it with a, a prime rib buffet. So we did one last night. We had, uh, I think we ended up at about 120 last night, which is sold out again. And then tonight or next Friday, we're offering it again, but it's already sold out. So uh, really cool to see. Um, the success of Prime Rib Buffet, which is great. And I'll just make a comment that it was awesome. the Prime Rib was fabulous, and um, Chef Dino was in his element. He was having a laugh. <laughs> Surrey, I mean, because he was, yeah, he was, he was this guy over here. And then he was doing dessert. Um, with this apple, like, incredible dessert. Yeah, it was, it was fun. It was fun to watch him. He was having a lot. Dino had a lot of fun. So he was the one that kind of came up with the, came up with the idea. And then... We, he wanted to do parking station, which is great. And he was like, I think I want to do an action station. I'm like, it's only you doing it. You'd be able to, he's like, no, it'd be fine. And then when we were, ideally, we were going to have the full tables at the same spot. And uh, he's like, that way you can just go through. And then we, we figured out it wasn't going to fit in there. So we're like, we're going to have to split them apart. So 
He's like, well, I'm going to get my steps in because I'm going to have to run back and forth. So he's carving, and he's running over here, tossing apples with butter and, and sugar and cinnamon and then putting it on ice cream. So it was really fun. We were really excited. It's super, super excited to do something like that. We also are, so like I said, next Friday we'll have Prime Rib Buffet again, which is sold out. The bar is walk-in only, so you can come sit at the bar. Um, and then we're going to do another event on the last Friday of um, uh, February, which is National Waffle Day. Um, oh, shoot. Is that February or March? Oh, no, I can't remember. We're going to, just in general, I guess, we're doing a National Waffle Day. It's going to be a buffet for uh, with waffles on it. So, you know, it's kind of like chicken and waffles with chorizo gravy, and then he's doing some waffle dessert and waffle fries and kind of all this waffle stuff. So uh, look for that. I think I just posted it on MTL. One Day University, so lots going on there, plenty of cool stuff uh, for the month of February. Um, you know, Steven Spielberg, Mount Everest, a lot of mind stuff. So how long can we live? The power of mindset. The power of mindset sounds like one that I'm probably going to definitely watch. Uh, just I'm really fascinated by that stuff. Uh, so anyways, really great lineup. Uh, check those out uh, when you get time. New clubs starting up. Uh, so we've got a pool and a billiards league that's going to that we're looking to start up. Uh, travel club, uh, which is going to start up on the third Fridays, I think around six o'clock. Um, uh, same travel club that we've had in the past, but Iris Chu, she's going to be in charge of it nowadays. Uh, and then we have a trilogy car club is going to start up. They're going to have a, their first kind of initial meeting on February twenty third at five p.m. Nancy Marriott's going to start up with a singles club to kind of get that going. And hopefully, she will. There's plenty ready for that. So, uh, But she's going to need a lot of support. And so um, we've got all these clubs, but all be represented, represented at the Club Expo. So we have 27 clubs coming to the Expo on next Thursday night. Uh, so... Crazy awesome to have 27 clubs. I mean, that's almost every club. Um, and so, like yep. Yeah. I, I don't even know because I wasn't expecting this many people. So, we, uh, not just, I, I think what we're doing is we're going to take great to grab those in here and we're going to move that to Hudson's because the numbers shrank a little bit. And then it's going to be in uh, Two Tides and in Hawk's Nest. And it'll look very similar to the, uh, Holiday Marketplace, the Craft Bazaar, just a bunch of tables all throughout, and then the leaders of all the clubs will be there representing their clubs, so that you can go, what is uh, Better Read Than Dead Book Club, what is Singles Club, what is, you know, Trilogy Car Club, whatever it is, and they'll kind of talk about it, they'll have a registration list um, to try and, A, you know, promote what they're doing, recruit some new uh, members to attend, kind of talk about their upcoming stuff, um, and kind of builds more interest. So, um, whew, yeah, crazy. And then we're going to have some stuff. We're going to have Barrel Masters will be there. Uh, Valor with Bike Club will be there. I'm trying to decide if I have time for a SSL Sightseers table, but uh, we'll have the club stuff too. Yeah, I like how you do that one. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. So, uh, so many things that we're, we've got going on, but um, but just a lot of cool stuff. So I'm really excited. We did this maybe two, three years ago. And then COVID happened. We didn't really want to do it for a while. So I'm glad all the members want to participate. It is it's a member-driven event. It's a free event. We, you know, we don't charge for anything. We just a lot of tables for us. We pay for that, but uh, we don't charge anybody for that. So great event. Five to seven. Come in, walk through, find out all the new clubs that we have going on, and then go to the restaurant for dinner afterwards. <laughs> Or grapes and grub, yeah. Poor Catherine, she's like, do I need to be there? And I go, yeah, you have to promote Barrel Masters. And she's like, well, I got grapes and grub. And I go, yeah, well, you can be up there till like 5.55 and then run over there to grapes and grub. So we'll see uh, so our wine steward, yeah. And then uh, happier hours, so our new happier hour menu for uh, February. We got hush puppies. Crispy fried mozzarella, Seattle style dog. Which that Seattle dog 
were so on of last Wednesday. So we're actually, because it's been so successful, you're going to see it at a couple other events we're doing, such as um, uh, Super Bowl or the big game, Super Bowl in a couple of Sundays. And then also, um, Seattle Dog. Oh, for Mariners opening watch party, we're we'll going to have the Seattle Dog available as well. Twice baked loaded potatoes. Who would have thought this was our most popular item? We sold out. Yes. We sold out on Wednesday night. It was so popular. We will, yeah, definitely. And then uh, Beef Slider Duo, which is kind of our classic happy hour item. So excited to uh, have us really. We kind of timed it right with the NTL Magazine release party and then just busy happier hour in general, but it was really well supported. Prime rib night, like I just talked about. Uh, I should have probably taken the slide down because you can't really get in at this point, but we do. We will have it next Friday as well. Super. Dino's prime look looked way better than that one did. So, Skincare workshop. Uh, I think today is going to be the last day to register for this. We only have a couple of reservations right now, uh, so we need a few more, um, or we might have to cancel it. So if you're on the fence about the skincare workshop or know somebody that's on the fence for it, uh, definitely promote that right now because today is when uh, Elise, Elise and I are making a decision on it. So let us know. Karaoke night. So... We've got karaoke night, which is at the end of last Saturday of February, February 26th, I think. Um, so we have uh, karaoke night, DJ Kamikaze karaoke is going to be here. Uh, we're going to have some little bit of uh, some bar bites, a school of bar theme type situation. And then I think we got nearly 30 members coming already. So, you know, we'll get a little bit of uh, liquid courage going and Turn on the video camera and see what happens. So we're going to have to put all that online. No video camera. <laughs> no video camera. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. We've had a lot of members ask for this over the years. Um, I mean, it's in every trilogy survey we've done. It's in every lifestyle survey we've done. Um, and so if you were one that put it on your survey, I hope that you're coming because this is the reason why we're doing it. We've always been skeptical because... Every member we've talked to was like, well, I'm not singing. Yeah, it's I, like, just oh, I just want to watch. And it's like, okay, great, but we can't do a karaoke event if no one wants to sing. So uh, hopefully we've got some uh, folks that want to be a part of that and uh, uh, show off their vocal talent or just laugh at their vocal talent. Um, and so really want to see some support for this. As I know this was a – Every member has asked me about this, not every member, but all, many, 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 many members have asked me about this for six years. We're finally at uh, Cave and finally did one. Love to see some more support for that. That is the last Saturday of February. I don't know why I didn't have the date written on there, but I think it's 20, the 6th. Yeah. Yeah, 26th. I just said why Waffle Day is March 25th. It is March. Okay, thank you. I couldn't remember. I posted so much last night. I couldn't remember when I posted it. Uh, karaoke, or no, sorry, uh, family portrait studio session. So next Saturday, we're going to be in two tides over here. Uh, we're going to have uh, the photo session. We did this a few years ago back in uh, Flow. Uh, so this time we're going to do it in two tides. Uh, we've got a really cool uh, company comes in. They, they handle all, everything. It's a professional company that comes in to do it. And, um, you know, take family pictures or couples pictures, or picture with your animal or whatever it would be. And uh, just family portrait if you want. So a few spots left for that. It's nearly sold out. So if you, we got a few more days to get those, get those finished and booked. As I talked about, we got Super Bowl um, on Sunday, uh, February 13th. So we're doing a, a limited uh, happy hour style menu for that with nachos and, and a bunch of good stuff on there. So we've got, uh, I think, half a dozen registered already. So uh, Super Bowl is sometimes hit or miss here at the club. Um, you know, a lot of times it's just nice to go in your own home with your own big screen TVs and comfy couches and all that. But uh, it's also fun to be around friends and have someone do all the dishes for you. That's where we come in. So we have that uh, this Sunday or next Sunday. Trilogy Chocolate Week. Woo! 
we got a busy week that week. This is a busy month for February, and I think March is even busier. Uh, Trilogy Chocolate Week, we're going to kick off Monday with the Valentine's. We've got uh, 80 reservations for that, which is uh, getting near sold out because they're all tables of two. Uh, so we've got busy Valentine's, and then we have Tuesday we're doing um, – Chocolate, uh, Chef's going to have uh, chocolate dip cookies at the concierge desk, complimentary. So stop by on Tuesday and pick up your complimentary chocolate dip cookie. And then on Saturday, we're doing a wine and chocolate tasting. So we partnered with Theo Chocolate, a uh, local company, um, and they are sending us a bunch of unique chocolates that we've then paired with uh, wine. So we're going to have a wine and chocolate tasting of our own on Saturday. And then happier hour on that Wednesday, we're doing a uh, um, we've got a jar with, with chocolates in it. It's gonna be guess how many chocolates are in the jar uh, during happier hour. So busy week. And do you chocolates in the Yeah, oh yes, of course. Is there anything else going on that I feel like there's something else I'm missing on that. So much stuff that week. So um, so anyways, we've got the trilogy chocolate week. No, we haven't done this one before. We have new assistant food and beverage manager. So Nate Henley started uh, this week. Nate is uh, a really awesome guy who has been running the Casa Mia in uh, Lakewood for the past eight years or something as the general manager. And so um, uh, he actually, we his first night was Wednesday, which was a crazy night. And then he ended up meeting um, uh, a table of members actually are regulars at this restaurant, which is kind of funny. So, uh, so anyway, it was a really good start for him. Uh, so we've been, Nate's been here, you know, three, four days now, hitting the ground running. So really exciting uh, to have him around. He's being currently trained by uh, the food and beverage manager that's uh, up temporarily from Schaefer's Mill in Lake Tahoe. So Jessica's been up here for the past week uh, helping get him adjusted uh, and helping out in the restaurant and such. Um, and so Jessica will be up here for about another week or so um, to kind of get him get him going and, and dialed in, and then I'll take him over and cloud his brain. So we'll see how it goes. Do you know if he went to Stadium High School? Because I think he went to school with my kids. Uh, <laughs> I, think I know him. I saw him last night, too. I saw his name today. I didn't even realize with the mask. Could be. He's a local kid. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely he's, a possibility. He's in his late 20s? Yep. Yep. I think it's the same guy. Same guy, huh? Well, there you go. Really good personality. Kids just yeah. really jumped in and been super helpful. The team loves him. It's It's been a really good fit so far. Uh, cookie class, we have actually Cooking University. So February 15th and 16th, that's where we have it. That week that I was thinking of. We have uh, a cooking university right after Valentine's Day. Uh, so Dino's doing a, a kind of a focus on Indian food. Uh, so we'll have that available. Um, I think Tuesday is at or near sold out. Uh, we'll definitely have some opportunity on Wednesday. National Margarita Day. Like I said, this, we got so much going on. Tuesday, February 22nd, National Margarita Day. Um, we're going to do similar to like the tacos and trivia we did in January. We're going to do that again on Tuesday. So Tuesday, February 22nd, National Margarita Day, taco, uh, an uh, elevated taco bar in uh, the mantle, and then uh, obviously margaritas. So uh, we're going to come up with some unique margaritas to, to offer for that. <laughs> okay, so that's all that we have. Yes. Yeah. No. Just for events. Yeah. yeah. Like Chinese New Year is Tuesday. Uh, yeah, Margarita Tacos Tuesday and, and uh, January. So we're using Tuesday as kind of doing our special event programming right now. Um, but we're really close to opening up Tuesday. Um, so we're trying to squeeze in as much as we can before we can't do any of that stuff anymore. So. Um, Lots of stuff I just posted on MTL last night, so really be aware. We've got uh, the Mariners um, opening day uh, watch party here at the club, March 31st. Uh, we've got a small buffet. I think it's $10 we put on there. Uh, come watch the Mariners on their opening day. 
We also have Mariner tickets on opening weekend. So April 3rd, uh, when it's a day game against Detroit Tigers. Uh, so we're going to take a group of members to opening day, excuse me. We've got a uh, murder mystery event, which we're going to celebrate for St. Patty's Day. Uh, so that Saturday of St. Patrick's weekend, uh, we're going to do a murder mystery event with kind of an Irish theme. Um, and so we've got that. That'll be for about 100 members uh, in two tides. We booked uh, St. Patrick's Day. We're doing a member mixer. So we'll have some light past appetizers and uh, beverages available for that. We got uh, murder mystery. Or no, no, sorry. Uh, Mardi Gras on March 1st, which is uh, Tuesday, another Tuesday event. Uh, so we're going to do a Mardi Gras member mixer. Once again, past appetizers. That's $20, and that'll be here in Hawksness. We've got uh, International Women's Day uh, on Tuesday, the, I think it's the 8th, if I remember right, of March, uh, where we're going to celebrate women and their accomplishments. Uh, we're also putting together a slideshow. So if you'd like uh, of, of women and, the, and their accomplishments, so if you'd like to be a part of that slideshow, we're going to run that during the member mixer that day. Uh, so please submit that information to Catherine. She's going to collect all that data uh, and put together a nice slideshow, very similar to the one we did for uh, Veterans Day, which, man, had like 30 slides on it. So, um, so we're going to do the same thing for International Women's Day. Um, we booked uh, SSL sightseers. Not quite posted. It should be posted maybe by the end of this weekend. But uh, in uh, end of February, we're going to go to the – Museum of Pop Culture, and to Chihuly Glass and Garden Museum uh, in, uh, I think it's the last Thursday of uh, uh, February, so that's going to be another fun event. Um, we've got, I open up spots for the bed and breakfast in March, so we're actually going to have five couples go on this trip this time, which would be really cool. We, I, know, I think there's three or four more still on the wait list, but we're going to start with five. Um, Dino and I basically took left one of the rooms <laughs> and we're gonna go sleep off site so that'll be good and then <laughs> take this out of there um and then yeah I'll let the children out you guys can have fun with that the house is gorgeous so that'll be a lot of fun um i booked casino night this is our big event we're gonna try and do three major events every year which are going to be the 250 to 350 um member uh attendance for these events. So one is New Year's Eve. Second one is uh, Lodge Fest in August. And then the third one is going to be an event in April. And this year it's going to be a night in Seven Summits Casino. So we've hired a company that's going to bring in poker tables and hold them tables and blackjack and roulette tables. And they're going to be scattered all throughout the club. And then we're going to have past appetizers and a photo booth. And uh, it's going to be an awesome event. So we just posted that. Um, we're also offering a VIP access during that event. So for members that maybe want to attend but don't want to be around the crowds of 250 members, we're going to offer the first hour as a VIP experience only. So we've hired a limo company. They'll come pick you up from your home, bring you here to the club. Um, you're going to get uh, hosted beverages all night, and then further between five and six, you're going to have your own time to eat and gamble and have fun uh, without the general admission uh, tickets later. They'll come in at six. So I've only got about 50 of those tickets to start. Uh, so kind of look for that as that got posted earlier. So pretty cool to have. have that. Huh? Yep, April. Yep, April 9th. April 9th. Saturday, April 9th. Um, so anyways, lots of cool stuff going on. Busy as heck. Um, really appreciate the team getting all this data ahead. Like I said, we're, I mean, we're talking about April. That is 90 days ahead of where we're at right now. So excited that uh, the team is really hitting on all cylinders to stay ahead and, and get all the uh, information out of, uh, ahead of time, which is really great. So. What, what questions are out there? Or maybe online. Do we have questions online? Summit here live on uh, Wednesday was, was, was really good when we had a lot of conversation about uh, 
um, uh, the liquor license and how that affects indoor and outdoor consumption of alcohol, which is really interesting. And, and uh, uh, you know, trying to get, you know, the back area license and what's kind of the plan on that, which is on our wish list. It's just, it's a major project to install and, and go through the licensing process for that. But uh, it is on our wish list. It's, it is one of the projects we want to work on. It's just not maybe at the top of the, of the list, but it's definitely on the list. Um, but uh, it's nice to be reminded that, you know, that that's definitely a priority for members, which is great to see it. Yeah. You know, I don't like here we can have a piece of the fencing. Yes. But out there, you don't like when we have the Tuesday um, hot dog. Yeah, roast toast. We should have the bar out here. Does that make the That's better? kind of using like our catering license okay. in those situations. Yeah. So it's not a regular daily sure. situation. Sure. <laughs> so um, one suggestion by a member was to have a more regular event that could be similar to catering, like to use our catering license for those situations. So, um, uh, so we're going to look a little bit at that. Okay. Um, but the, but the question was really, hey, I, I don't feel comfortable, you know, being indoors, which makes sense. Yeah. And so you know, I just want some place where I can go have a glass of wine and be outside. And and so, I'm to to totally understand. Uh, also, that member did not know that. We still have members that eat out on mantle patio right now, even in January and February, because they're just not comfortable staying inside, which is fine. So um, they didn't know that that was an option, especially since we put heaters and everything out there. So it makes it a little more comfortable. Um, and obviously out here, they can still do that as well. Um, but yeah, the, there's just so many challenges. It's not just as simple as putting a fence because there's gate regulations and, and we'd have to cut off our our uh, uh, driveway that we use for deliveries and you can't because you can't have a gate that's like 32 inches wide or something like that so the truck's not going to fit through that um and and there's just all you can't have more than two entrances on one side of the fence and so that would also mean that all the doors on that side of the building would have to be permanently locked and there's just a whole bunch of things that we kind of still have to work through that not just as simple as put up a gate and get licensed. So, which is great. That was a great question that they had asked, and we had talked through kind of all the different challenges that we're facing so that they were like, oh, wow, didn't know all that. We should maybe talk a little bit more about that. So wanted to bring that up again, which is great. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Yes? Um, I think it's this upcoming week. There's like a men's club. We have men's lunch on Tuesday, yes. Is that still on? Yep. Still on. As far as I heard, I... Talk to Skip was here this morning, but I, I talked to him yesterday, I think. Yeah, still on. Men's lunch is still on for Tuesday. Yep. We'll take reservations because I think it's low. I think it's like only 25 this month or something like that. So. Any questions online? Everyone's, everyone's on mute, so. Except Lynn. Um, anyways, yeah, like I said, we got a bunch of stuff going on. It's really busy right now, which is great. We got plenty of hourly team members to help out, which has been even better. Um, we uh, we're down a little bit on the leadership team, um, so glad to have Nate on board. Glad that the uh, company was then able to send up somebody from another club to help out, which has been really great. Um, uh, we're still working on um, Trina, our catering coordinator. She's leaving here in a, about a month, month of the day, She's, uh, March fourth. Uh, as she got her dream job to work as a flight attendant, so she's leaving here pretty soon. Uh, so we had somebody that was hired, and that person backed out recently. So we've just made an offer to another catering coordinator. So hopefully that one actually comes through. Um, so it'll be really nice to get her up here and trained and developed, which would be good. Um, and then um, uh, yeah, we're just we're we're rocking and rolling. So Paula's doing well. She sends she texted me this morning saying. You know, tell everybody I'm doing great, and I can't wait to come back and miss everybody. So uh, she's super happy with the baby and uh, tired and exhausted, as expected. So, uh, but uh, absolutely in love, which is really cool. So um, uh, really excited. We, man, I just tell you, every day I get members that are emailing about, you know, hey, this, this club wants to do this nowadays, and, and we want to start doing this, and uh, which is just great to see everyone's got 
coming in with ideas and, and ways to do things and new activities and new club ideas. And uh, it's been really good. And then on top of that, we've received a lot of compliments this week. So I've, I've received probably half a dozen emails on just positive experiences that they've had. Um, I've had just a lot of members stop me in the hallways the last few days just saying how great everything's been. So we really do appreciate that. You know, it's, it, it you know it, it sometimes can be pretty negative and which is understandable and it helps drive us to be better and uh, we don't want that to we want it to, to go away a little bit but we also use that as very constructive criticism um, so it's it's been really nice to have some positive feedback for the team and um, the team's getting better they're, they're still you know, I told Jessica the other day who's from shape with milk I was like just keep in mind you know most of these team members have only been here like four weeks, maybe the longest been here, eight weeks. So they're all still pretty fresh to the culture and to the system. So, uh, but she's been blown away by uh, how well that they've done, uh, how independent they are and, and yet how team player they are. So it's been really good. Um, we're, we're super happy in the direction. We just need some more time and, and uh, some more seasoning. So it's really exciting, really exciting. So, yes. Hey, um, Kevin and I got to go to the demo this week, and okay. it was wonderful. I mean, there were 16 people, which I'm, I was not excited about, but the way you yep. guys put the four tables and had the camera, it was yes. very comfortable. Thank you. Yeah, we tried something different with cooking demo this week, because uh, we've been kind of limited to about eight, uh, 11 members. And so we said, well, you know, how can we use more of Hudson's? Well, everyone wants to be able to see what Dino's cooking, which is makes complete sense. So we, um, uh, the original intent of that Hudson's room was there's supposed to be a camera in there. Um, and they, we just never, they never finished that part of it or whatever. Um, and so we finally were like, let's just, you know, and I, uh, a week or two ago, I was just like, hey, let's just figure out how to make it work. So bought an Apple TV. We used one of our iPads. We synced it up. Um, and it, I'm, I'm glad you had a good experience. It was um, uh, so we were able to kind of shoot down onto the cooking surface and the cutting surface and then broadcast it on the TV above, which was really cool. Um, I had asked Dino afterwards. I said, what did everyone think? You know, because he was like, members have been asking that for years. So I said, well, what did everybody think? And he's like, you know what? There, there was so many new members at Cookie Demo, they didn't even know that that wasn't even a thing. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, but this by uh, Ginger and Kevin. Yeah, they can verify. Good, because I we were I, we hadn't heard anything, so we were open that that was a good experience. And so um, I'm glad I'm glad that worked out really well. So uh, it was really nice to do. It was really easy to do. Um, and uh, we probably should have done it sooner, of course. But but now we're going to be able to, to do that more consistently and, and have more members come. Which the more members come, the more social it becomes, which is always fun. Um, and uh, uh, so it was good. It was really good. Thank you for that. Any other questions? No? All right, everyone. Thank you all very much. Have thank a good you. weekend. Thank you.